Hey, what is up you guys? It is Arborverse and welcome back to another episode of Boom Beach. Today, another episode in the Road to 400 Medals. We're currently on episode number 8. We have 377 medals, as you guys can see. And we're getting really close to the 400 mic. I think we need like one or two more episodes in order to make it work. And actually to get there, so that's going to be quite interesting. Currently, I'm having the heavies and the Zuka as combination. And it's already pretty late night, so I might record the rest of this episode tomorrow and you might see like a drop in the medals i just decided to let you guys know in advance so that way you guys know what's going on first things first i am upgrading my vault to level 15 and upgrading my warriors to level i think level 9 yes my zookas are already done so that is really nice and my next thing that i'm going to be upgrading it can be the med kit which is pretty nice but i think i'm gonna be going for the barrage because that's just going to help me out tremendously. But we need a lot of gold in order to do so. So yeah, that's just something that I need to take into consideration as well. Let's just jump ahead and actually go for one of the bases on my map. So I have uh, quite a few bases available as a matter of fact. I've been uh, playing the game consistently and I've been trying to not gain as many medals. That kind of explains why I have 377 right now. I just seem to be getting more than I want to be getting for the sake of the series. So I figured, you know, might as well just drop an episode in which we're just going to actively attack these bases. So this is a guy, I cannot pronounce his name, it's Chinese. I'm just going to call him Chris or something like that. And Chris over here, he's level 39. He has a boom cannon level 5 over here. He probably didn't really like upgrade his headquarters that much. He's level 16. Um, I may be mistaken there, but his defenses are... Are not that not ridiculously high level they are okay so uh, I suppose this is going to be a, a pretty easy attack uh, nothing too special about it he has the boom can uh, the boom mines at the left and the right side so they're perfectly visible for us what I want to be doing is actually taking out this boom cannon and this one as well so we're getting to that it's almost taken out, which is a good sign always. I should have probably dropped the artillery shell between the bank, but yeah. Okay, dropping the artillery shell down there, so that way we actually do some damage on the sniper tower. Uh, might have been a better idea to just drop two artillery shells on that, but that is okay. I cannot do anything about that right now. And I think I can take this one out. One, two. Another one, then. Then it goes out, which is always helpful because that is a rocket launcher. Now, where are we going to be attacking from? I think it would be better to go from the right side in this case. Yes, the right side. Let's go. All of the heavies, all of the Zookas, just, you know, charge into the base. Get to these statues. He has a nice little colorful, like range of statues here which is uh, pretty nice looking his flamethrowers aren't high level at all they are like level four level three ish because they don't have the second uh, design on so that's a nice little thing what do we want to be shocking probably the sniper tower and the two cannons because those uh, are right now the biggest threat he actually uh had a uh, he actually had a, uh, a a golden storage that was maxed out Pretty nice. I'm dropping the flare all the way at the right side. That way the units can actually gather up together once again. I'm probably going to be dropping a smoke just in case. Uh, the heavy is already going to, to the bank, which is pretty nice. So that way everything can just uh, kind of like work together here. And now I want to be dropping a shock bomb right around here. So that way I get those three buildings over there. And dropping another one just in case. And it seems that the way we are executing this attack is just really, really fine. Uh, we're getting to the base, the Zookas are attacking the Sniper Tower, and let me actually drop a medkit down there, so that way we can actually uh, help that heavy survive, and that is this attack against Chris. We took down Chris, uh, and what are we going to be getting? No shards at all, that really sucks, or no fragments, or... Oh, wait, a ice fragment, I didn't see that one. Okay, that's pretty nice. Let's actually go ahead and uh, remake these, let them already charge up and i'm going to take on this npc base square dance i'm kind of like uh, at the ice bases right now oh i like the look of this look at this um so the way we want to be doing this is obviously taking out the boom cannons pretty pretty standard uh, procedure here two barrages cannons might be uh, kind of tricky and there you go those two are getting taken out 
and then I am just going to drop a barrage on here just in case you know you never know what's going to happen at least it will clear out the mines maybe my units will start to act like a donk and just move into the mines you never know with these units sometimes I make an arrow or a slide over the screen and then they just like I drop a flare or something in the wrong position That's something that you definitely don't want to be happening okay the units are closing into the base the uh, the heavies <clears throat> The heavies are kind of like soaking up the damage here. First one down, second one down, third one down. There you go. Dropping the shock bomb down there just in case because the sniper tower is kind of deadly at this point. And I am going to be dropping yet again another shock bomb over there. I'm going to drop all of them to the right side right now because the Zookas are not protected. And my flare runs out. Uh, I mean my... Um, Shock bomb runs out, lost one Zuka there, dropping the mad kit, taking out the base like a boss, taking out the base like a boss, taking out the base like a boss. <laughs> got a medal, and oh, I got nice resources, uh, 50,000 gold almost. Hey, I saw a treasure chest, I want to be opening up those, six diamonds, pretty sweet. I can actually drop my, um, my submarine somewhere. Um, where do I drop it? I want to be getting these. Do I want to go for the special thing? But then I don't have money to drop my troops. That one is fine. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. Tank trap. We do not have any tanks. But we do have some heavies. This might be kind of tricky guys. Um, but we're going to take this one out. We're boss like that. We're gonna take this one out and we're gonna take it out with a bang. Bang of Boom Beach. And um, I probably wanna be dropping the barrages, the two of them, pretty close near the Boom Cannons. As you guys can see, that is a great way of taking it out. Unfortunately, we missed out on this Boom Cannon, which kinda sucks. Kinda like uh, throws food into the pan. And um, I can just go from the right side, take out the like that and actually keep these shocked because that's such a shocker okay let's go I'm pretty confident honestly with this one but uh, I might make a mistake here because I do not like the way they are walking yeah just in case you know just in case are they going to be making it it's all about the timer I love this timer in boom beach guys I love the timer I love it so much. It makes life so much easier. You, have, you guys have no idea. Like, you might think you have reverse or you're a noob. But honestly, it, it does really make life so much easier. But yeah, that is just uh, the way how I feel about that. You should all feel the way you should or the way you want to. Wow, that boom cannon has range, dude. That boom cannon has range. Like, wow, okay. Dropping the mad kit, I don't think it's going to be mattering anyway. Dropping the smoke, so that way the mad kit can actually like work and heal up the heavies. Uh, I think it's like kind of healed up to the max. We got five Zookas left and four heavies. It's going to be a tough cookie here. Where are the rest of the Zookas? Are they like... Okay, we have... Where's the fifth Zooka? It's probably in between another Zuka. I think we're going to be making this one. But only just. Only just. We saved one heavy. And that's going to be the veteran champion. He's going to be getting the Zuka girls as a reward. And we got a ice shard. Look at this. Awesome. Okay. I'm going to be right back because the units are gone. I'm going to have to need to take a break for 24 minutes. And then we're hey, back in business. we're back. And I actually have a lot of stuff to collect. So let's start off by doing it. And I got two enemy activity stuff. So um, that, that is also a thing. I'm pretty curious towards my uh, victory points rewards. And what are we going to be getting? Dark shards, ice shard and gold. Wow, that is like quite the pick here. Let's actually go to the uh, sculpture. Oops, not updating it. Um... Oh. Oh. Ouch! Okay, look at this, guys. I got. Th I need three more eye shards to actually uh, make it up there. Oh wait, terror has landed. What? What's my problem? I'm just gonna go for the eye shards. 
big deal. Let's go ahead and craft this guardian because if we reclaim the guardian, then we're going to be getting another crystal. That means that we are going to be able to make another masterpiece for ice. Finally. Jeez. Okay. Um, two logs. Volcano Terror, that's what I know. And a resource base lost. Ugh. Well, that kind of sucks. Let's wait for seven seconds. Then we're going to be uh, saving some gems, obviously. If you guys want some gems, check out the link in the video description. It will take you to free maps, as always. Um, okay. Uh, what else can we attack? Well, I suppose a couple of these NPC bases cannot hurt. But we also got Mr. Andy over here. And Andy's just kind of asking for, hey, it's raining, man. Hallelujah, it's raining, man. Hey, man. He has a lot of boom cannons. Uh, let's refresh this. Go for something else. Level 30. Anus. Anus. Drajapping speak Anus. Okay, that's a pretty, pretty terrible imitation here. This is going to be easy, guys. Uh, I think he only has the ability to carry three boom mines. So, um... We're going to be barraging this flamethrower, so that way we take it out, but also the boom mines. Uh, and we're going to obviously uh, do the usual stuff here, taking out um, this one over here. Uh, one, two. Ah, what? Oh, probably has, has an ice statue. Yep, he does. I did not see that one coming, but okay. Does it take it out? Oof. That's pretty rough. At least we got the energy, but... Oh man, this is pretty rough. But, uh... Do we take it out, please, please, please? Seriously. Well... If that's not the case, if we don't take it out that way, we... We'll just have to take out the entire base, you know? Uh, otherwise, it's not going to be working th things out. Um... We took out the boom mines, so that's a good thing. He got all of the mines at the left side. I do not know why. Uh, like, always put your mines in your, like, base. So that way, you know, people are going to be attacking from different sides. There's, like, 101 ways to actually attack a base. If you're just going to leave your mines standing there, hoping that someone doesn't attack you from the left side, then you're not going to be successful at defending your base. It's just, like, one, my main tip for you guys out there, for, for you main boomers out there, uh, just make sure that you get your act together. So, uh, this is going to be an easy takedown, honestly. We're just gonna have some fun here in this little base, uh, I suppose. Um, you know what, I'm just going to be dropping the smoke here. Saving myself a heavy to be lost here. And I didn't lose a lot of units, I lost four units in total. One of them being a Zuka, rest in peace. Two of, or three of them being a heavy. Rest in peace to you guys as well. And we got our own intel, which is really nice. I'm doing really nicely. We've got 383 medals. We already reclaimed what we lost earlier. Let's uh, go ahead and make these again. It's raining once again. And there's a lot of people, like, talking in the task force. But that's okay. Let's actually just reclaim what we lost a, a minute ago. Let's see if this guy's offline, like, right off the bat. Um... Haha, <laughs> we're going to reclaim what we lost a second ago. So we're dropping the artillery over there. I think he got the statue boost. Oh well, I don't care. Um, oh, there was like one artillery too much, but that is okay. Gonna take out these buildings. Or not. Retreating. It's a mistake from my side here. A small little mistake, if you will. Uh, I'm gonna redo this. I should have probably scouted. Oh well. <sighs> it's pretty close. I think we can take it out. Boom, there you go. And this one as well. Boom, there you go. You as well? Boom. Are you kidding me? I have no words for that. Always, always. Like, I'm having such a perfect run on the on the first two buildings. And then the last building just screws everything over, man. Just screws everything over, man. <sighs> Dropping the artillery. Boom, that is gone. 
No more worries about that. Gonna be dropping the, uh, the, 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 that shock bomb. Dropping the mad kit in the middle. And it's just a matter of taking down the base now, right? I mean, why not? Probably redirecting that flare. I want to be saving that heavy over there. Yeah, it's heavy is saved. You're safe, buddy. And we got the base back. Uh, we got a new defense. We got a new flamethrower, which is pretty sweet. I'm not going to be rearranging this, but I think this outpost actually went, went to level 19. That's really sweet because this guy, you know, had some troubles taking down this base. What, what else can we do? I don't think we got a lot of units left, so, um... Oh, we got a lot of Zookas left, though. I mean, maybe we can take down an NPC base with this. Fifth Avenue. There's actually, like, this, uh, this, this club where people go out, like, clubbing and stuff. Called Fifth Avenue. In my city. It doesn't really matter. People of my city are not watching this anyway, so who cares? Okay. Doing this. And, uh... Oh, look at those... Boom, look at that perfect barrage placement. Guys, I am pleased with the results of this attack. Oh, I'm not pleased with the results of that. Um, okay, I'm, I'm half pleased. Half pleased. Half pleased. What's that? What's that even mean, half pleased? Pleased halfway. Sometimes the things that I'm saying just don't make a lot of sense, but that is okay. That's that's reversal for you. I mean Sometimes it just don't make sense, you know, just gotta get used to that. That's the way I am. That's that's the way I roll Okay, um, I'm kind of worried for my heavies Okay Okay dropping that we didn't lose a lot of Zookas on this one, which is really sweet, by the way. Um, I just have to say, it's really awesome. Not losing th stuff on, the, on an attack is just the best thing ever. Shows your skill, in a way, or luck. Some people always say, like, oh, you're so lucky. No, it's not luck. Luck is a skill as well, you know. You create your own luck. Well, that's kind of deep going, but you, you guys know where I'm coming from. This episode kind of like dragging on for a little bit here. We're in this episode for like 17, 18 minutes or so. The intro is like 15 seconds. So we're getting close to uh, 18 minutes. Which is uh, for, for like episodes like these that's okay. We can like go up to like half an hour tops or something like that. Okay, victory once again. We got a lot of wood over there. So that's pretty nice. And we didn't lose any heavies which is pretty cool. So I'm willing to give this one another go. I mean we just got to like in Dutch, we actually say we gotta be rowing with the belts we got. Doesn't make sense, but yeah, if you understand what I'm talking about, then yeah, that's that's cool. It means you're a pretty awesome person. I think we can take this one down. We don't have to worry about too much of these buildings. Uh, the one thing that we do have to worry about is Mr. Boom Cannon, Mr. Amazingness over here, which we just took down. So that's a so that's a good thing. Um, those two are gonna be gone, gone and gone, gone and goner. Invalid location for weapon? Oh yeah, of course, they uh, they actually call them weapons. Which is just funny, it's actually gumbo power-ups. I would suppose power-ups, active or passive power-ups, that would be a nicer name. I don't know, what, what do you guys think? They should actually name them, not weapons. I don't really call them weapons, honestly, like the... the Artilleries because I was just dropping a flare. That's not a weapon. That is a supporting kind of way to, to support your units That didn't make sense, but I don't care <laughs> Okay uh, This boom mine man, it's boom mine Okay, go to the right. No, they're gonna be walking into the flames. One, two, three, four. We're gonna be losing so many Zookas because of that stupid attack. Come on, Rav, work with me. Come on, Rav, work with me. That's gonna be fine. We're gonna be making this one. It's going to be a close call regardless. But yeah, we, we actually made this. Foreign Legion. Not so foreign. We actually... Oh, two medals. Awesomeness. Yeah. Alright, 387. 
That is pretty sweet. That is really awesome. You know what? I'm gonna get up to 390 and then I'm going to be calling it an episode. So once again, I'll be back in like let's say let's say 30 minutes. Then we can throw in another attack on the NPC basis. Okay, we're back again. The units are here. It's about to finish. Well, 51 seconds. I suppose that is okay. In a way. Let's collect all of these. Let's go and scout first. We have two enemy activity stuff here. Uh, I think. Okay. Oh, wait. I got diamonds. Ooh. Did quite nicely. I still have to rearrange my base. 31 minutes ago. Uh, today I've been scouted 13 times by 6 players. Attacked 3 times by 3 players. Got raided 3 times by 3 players. That's always the case. Chive on Josh. Well, Chive. That was pretty rude of you. Look at the gunboat energy we can get from here. <laughs> but that's not what we're aiming for. Okay, so... I don't understand why people do this, right? Like, why would you place mines around boom cannons? Because people are just going to, like, drop them barrages around there. Let's see how our units are doing right now. Okay, heavies are done. Um, you know, we're just going to... Um, no, we're going to wait for the Zookas. I'm going to be in... We're just going to wait for 8 seconds. And then, af af if after 11 seconds the Zookas are still not done, we're just going to instant finish them. You know, it's a waste to actually wait. Let's see what the guild is saying, or the task force, or whatever you want to be naming it. Okay, nothing that interesting. Okay. Three diamonds. Chive. Chive on Josh. Well, Josh or Chive... I don't know what your name is, but uh, you're gonna go down. You're gonna go down. Down the drain. You will. You know, I'm just going to take care of these... Uh, I'm just going to be taking care of all of this, you know. This is not the most ideal situation. You want to, like, diversify your entire base. Your His base is really weak against tanks. Because you can just shock the front and just, you know, get rid of all of that. That nonsense that you're seeing right now. Anyway, we're just going to split things up here. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. It's going to be good. Shock bomb. Oh, that's not going to be... Look, I suppose he did an okay job there. But, you know, everything just gets taken out just like that. And it's just too, too easy. Too easy mode. Now, I am kind of worried a little bit. Sniper towers are taken out. Retreat a little bit here. Yeah, this is one thing that I want to be doing is dropping the smoke around there. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect. I think. Oh, I love how these Zookas are just like... I need to do that more often. I'm going to be doing that more often. And that is Chive on Josh. Level 40 guy. I like how all of these are going to be exploding. Hopefully we're going to be getting some magma. Yeah, like three fragments. That is awesome. Look at this. We still have a lot of units left. So I suppose we can get to uh, 390 with that. And um, the reason why I want to be going to 390 is just the sheer fact that later on I'm able to actually like... Do uh, like 15 medals or something like that. Actually taking out everything and then rounding off these series. Okay. Wow, level 13 uh, shock launcher. That's really funny. Misaligned. This is easy. Let's go. <laughs> I don't even need to think about this one, really. Take out the two most essential ones to take out. Go to the right side. Tricky, tricky, tricky. I might do it too fast, you know. That's always the problem with, with stuff like this. My, my mind goes on autopilot. And I I start to mess up. It all comes down to that. <clears throat> I do want to be taking care of that boom mine. That boom mine is just a little bit too dangerous, if you ask me. Well, you, you weren't asking me, but that's just like general saying, you know. Shock bomb down there. Because it's, it is going to be taking a moment here to take out all of that. Seems that went just fine. Okay, that was a perfect shock. Dropping the mad kit. Taking care of the base just like that. 
And in a couple of seconds, this base is gone. Oh, two medals once again. Wow. Impressive. Let's go to this last base then. This Chinese guy. I might suicide against him. He does have a shock launcher. It's going to be tricky because I have less units than usual. I see that a few of his buildings are kind of like under level. For example, the flamethrowers. Which is a good sign, in it, essentially, for me. This boom cannon is level 2. He does have... Okay, he does have statues. 13%. I'm not too worried, then. Um, I like that the boom cannons are close to the shock launcher. That just makes life so much easier. That is also something I would not recommend you to do. Because, essentially, you can just, like, pick them all up together, you know? Because the shock launcher definitely is something that we want to be taking out. Um, mm, I need to think here for a second because... I can... Hold up. I need to know the range of that left boom cannon. I didn't... I, I forgot to check that. Because we might not even have to take out this boom cannon. Uh, it's going to be tricky... I think we don't need to take out this boom cannon right now. At least, like, at this moment. So, instead, let me just take care of this. There goes the machine gun. Two. Yeah, that's perfect. One, two. Boom. Shock launcher. Is gone. Mines, man. These mines are pretty deadly. Honestly, I'm not certain with this with this base. Honestly, this this base is pretty tricky, and I will probably lose. But you know, also the fact of the matter is, uh, generally, like I would not be able to take out this base. I'm already saying that I'm not going to be capable of making it. Uh, I'll probably end up surprising myself but the reason why i'm saying that is because usually i am not able to take out a base like this but yeah okay i've actually managed to pick up the, uh, the the buildings together which is pretty nice now let's pick up some energy guys i'm craving for some energy with the shock can i take them both yeah look at that oh Lost so many Zookas there. We lost too many Zookas. <clears throat> we lost too many Zookas with that attack. It's going to be really rough because he still has his boom cannons. He still got his boom cannons. Yeah. This is a definite like failure here. I will probably like boost up my statues in some time in the near future. Uh, and then we're going to take out this base. I'm not sure. Just dropping a few smokes here and there. Anyway. Yeah. I don't know, I, I, some, somehow I always end up like rounding off episodes with a defeat. But yeah, that's going to be doing it for this episode of Boom Beach. If you like what you saw, if you like this series, if you like this episode, make sure to boom, give it a thumbs up. And this has been Reversal for Boom Beach, I'm going to be signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one. Because the next one is actually going to be the finale episode, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that.